Hello friends, welcome to another interesting C++ interview question. And today's question is, is it possible to call constructor and destructor by yourself? What do I mean by that? Let's check this out. This is direct call to your constructor here. Okay, this is a class, base class, and this is constructor, and this is the destructor, and just printing that, okay? So here you are explicitly calling that as you just normally call some other functions. So this is called to your constructor. So let's go ahead and run this. As you see here, this is base constructor call and the base destructor is called. Okay. Now you might be thinking we cannot call destructor, but I'll give you the example where you can call the destructor as well. So here we are calling destructor. See, base class is created. We are calling destructor and yes, obviously we need some object to destruct. Okay. That's why I'm using this weird syntax. This is a temporary object here and I'm destroying that object by calling destructor on that. Okay. So I'll make this little more simpler so that you can understand it better. Let's say there is object obj and you're calling this on this obj. Okay. So it will be a little more easier to understand. So as you can see here, constructor is called, destructor is called, and again one more destructor is called here, this one. So why two time destructor is being called here? And the reason is, it's the guarantee from C++ that when one object goes out of scope, its destructor will get called. Okay, so it's not compiler's issue that you are calling already a destructor so that it, it should not call. So this is the disaster. You should not call destructor explicitly, okay, by yourself. You should not write like this. This is a uh, danger code, okay? You should not do it like this. There is only one reason where you will call destructor by yourself and that is called placement new and that is totally different topic. So. I'll be covering that topic next to this video. So if you're watching today, so you have to wait for tomorrow. And if you're watching after tomorrow, so then you can just get this video. Okay. So just go ahead and check that video to get this. Okay. And there is another point. What is that explicitly calling to the constructor? What did, what did I mean by this? This is a temporary object being created here. At the, at the same time, it is getting destructed also to, to show you that. Uh, I'll just print out something, let's say, call something here and, okay, so what do you know? If some object is get created and its oh, scope is going out of scope, then that destructor will be called here. But if you see here, the destructor will be called just after constructor here, okay? What is the normal case? The normal case is like this you have created some base class object. So the constructor will be called here, then something will be printed. And when you are going out of scope, then the destructor will call. We'll see that. See, base constructor is called, something is called, then the destructor is called. That is the guarantee of C++. But when you explicitly call that base constructor, it called destructor at the same time. Just to verify that again, we can just simply run that. Constructor is called and the destructor is called here only. That's why this something is coming after this destructor. So that's it. Bottom line is you should not call destructor by yourself until unless you are using placement new. And what is that? I'll explain you in next video. Thanks for watching and make sure you like and subscribe so that you will get the notification for upcoming videos like this. Bye bye.